Hey guys, it's Andrew here from CMIPES and today we're going to create a chatbot and the chatbot's going to be based on IBM Watson and the reason for that is you've probably noticed if you haven't already that Apple and IBM now have a partnership around IBM Watson and they have a lot of cool starter kits from image recognition for core machine learning training uh, creating weather models and just a note on that IBM actually brought out the weather company and they have the most accurate weather data of all the weather companies in the world, which is quite surprising to me. So that's quite something interesting. They actually own a company and they have direct access to the data. So if you ever need weather data for anything, that's definitely something worth checking out. And they've got a lot of other cool things you can use under the Watson umbrella. The one we are going to use is Watson Virtual Assistant. And this is essentially a chat bot. And the cool thing about it is we can actually set it up automatically. We're going to log on to the IBM Cloud Console and it will generate all the code and set up a sample workspace for you automatically. All we need to do is go through the steps to set it up and we can actually have a chat app up and going. That's pretty cool, right? And if you're interested, let me know and later on and I can actually show you how to actually train this chatbot in a certain subject area. All right, now let's get into the coding, shall we? All right, so now we're at the Apple Watson Services Developer page and you can see information about their partnership here and the features they offer, such as training core ML models. And if you scroll down and we go into the learn more, we can delve more into it. It's a bit confusing to find out what you can do because in here it actually tells you some of the stuff you could do. So it has Watson Services, Web for iOS and MBAS for Enterprise. All we need to do is go up the top and just hit the try now. And this is going to take you to the IBM Cloud Console. And we can actually see here, we've got some starter kits here. If you want to view more, you can do so here and you can also browse more services. So as I mentioned, the one we're going to do is a chatbot, which is the virtual assistant for iOS with Watson. So we're gonna get the starter kit, so tap on that. This will come to, come to the overview of the starter kit. You can see the UI here, which is where how you actually train a chatbot. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and use the default model, which already has a bot trained for you. And in another one, I can actually show you how to train your own custom bot to respond to conversations. So what we do, we simply go to create app. This is going to take us to the Bluemix console. You'll need to sign up for an account and it's all going to be free. They give you these free light plans to try out their services, which is pretty cool. So I've already got an account, so I'm just going to log in here. Okay, now we've signed in. Once it's loading up, you can actually set your app name and we're going to leave it as default, but if you want to name it something unique or something that you can identify with, feel free to rename it to whatever you want. So we can see the default settings here. We got our app name, leave it as Swift and simply go create. Okay, now we've created it and we can see a big informational screen with a lot of stuff here. So essentially what you need to do is follow this getting started quickly guide and I'm going to take it through you now. So first of all, go to download code this is going to actually generate code unique to this instance of Watson Assistant that we can download and it will have everything set up for us pretty much already in Xcode and connect it up to our conversation instance here. So it's just downloading now and let's check it out. Okay, so now it's actually downloaded. This is our folder here. And essentially what we need to do, we need to follow these steps. I'm gonna sip straight ahead to actually configuring the Xcode project. And then I'll show you how to configure your workspace in Watson in here. So first of all, open up terminal, then navigate to the project directory. And if we list the project files or open the folder, you'll see a bunch of files here. So it uses two things to manage the libraries which are actually used, that's CocoaPod and Carthage. So if you don't have CocoaPods installed or not too sure what it is, I've got a tutorial for that below. With Carthage, I have some instructions on installing it below. 
and how you can use it. So first of all, we'll set up the Cocoa Pod. So we simply need to do pod install. And I recommend you do a pod update if your installation is quite old, just to make sure that you have the latest Cocoa Pods definitions. Now, while this is installing, this might take a bit and Carthage actually took my computer about five minutes to download and set up all the dependencies. So we can see Cocoa Pods is done now. And we simply will run this command to set up the Carthage installations. And this is the one that took a while for me. So if it takes about five minutes, don't worry, have a coffee, have a break, have a Kit Kat, whatever you like, and just let it run through and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, cool. So now I've got our Xcode project set up, but before we jump into it, we need to do some configuration in the web console. So going back to here, what we want to do, we want to go to launch tool for the Watson, Watson Assistant and let that launch. Because so we need to set up a workspace and a workspace is essentially the actual conversation workspace it connects to. So you can have multiple workspaces and they essentially host the bot that responds to your conversation. So for example, you could have a workspace for a chat bot to order food. You could have another one to book airplane tickets. You could have another one to book hotels and so on. So we can see here, if you go to the workspaces, we've got some already set up here. So we want to activate the card dashboard one, which is an example one. And if we click on that, it will actually create a workspace from a card dashboard. And this is where you actually set up and train your chatbot. This is a template we can use to see how it actually works and get one up and running quickly in an iOS app. So once you tap on it, you can actually go try it, try it out. And you can see here, it's got hi. It looks like a nice drive today. What would you like me to do? You go, 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 turn on the radio, for example. And it looks like I can't understand that, but we can do play some music. And it looks like it doesn't like that either. So play some music. Let's do it exactly. Anyways, for some reason, it's not understanding play some music, but let's try turn on the lights. Okay, so at the moment, it's also not understanding that. And the thing is, because Watson is training, this chatbot is actually machine learning based. So we can see it's finished training now. So if we do turn on the music, it will actually turn on the music and you can select a genre of music you want to play. So this could, for example, be used in a car. If you had an app or your car system hooked up to all the electronics, you could actually use it to turn on the music, turn on the lights, do whatever you want to do in your car. And this is all using natural conversations as if we're speaking to another person. So now that that's set up, we can go back to Finder and open up our Xcode project. So we want to open up the XC workspace file. Okay, now that we've opened up the Xcode project, you can explore it in the Project Explorer in the left-hand side if you want to check out how it exactly works. It's got all the code set up for us already. For an app, we can jump straight into. So let's run the app now and check it out. Okay, so we can see the app running here. As we can see, it's the exact same chat as it is on the website, except in a nice iOS app that's got a nice UI to it. So we can go turn on the lights. Let's hit send. There we go, Watson's turned on the lights for us. So this is a super ultra easy, quick way to set up a chatbot app using IBM Watson with its machine learning and plugging straight into it straight away. The great thing is in the workspaces I showed you, going back to it now, this is where you actually train the chatbot and set it up. You can connect it to Slack, Facebook Messenger, a web app and so on. So what I'll do if you guys are interested, I can actually show you how to set up the chatbot itself to have your own custom conversation so that way, if you want to make a chatbot to order pizza, 
turn on your bedroom fan or anything like that. You can actually set it up yourself and it's all done through this workspace console. And it's quite easy to set up a simple one. Just a general note about chatbots is that they're usually very good at one or a few things only and that's it. So keep them as a narrow focus. So this one's only focused on a car. If you try and make them do too much, like actually be a person that can control a car, order a pizza, book airline tickets and so on, it gets quite confused. So you want to keep it narrow and specific to one area or niche and that's it only. So I don't have any source code for this tutorial because I didn't actually code anything. It was all set up for us. So all you need to do is follow the steps. Log on to the IBM Apple development website as I've got in a link below. You can download the code that will set it up all for you automatically. You'll need to update with CocoaPods and Carthage, which will install dependencies. Remember to go to launch tool to actually set up your workspace and you want to set up the car dashboard sample one. If you click on that, that will automatically set that up for you. That way your app connects to it. Because if you don't do this, you won't have any workspace to set up and the app won't work. You'll get an actual error when you try and run it. So keep an eye out for future tutorials on how to actually set up a chatbot. And if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. All right, until next time guys, I'll catch you later.